Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I am going to feature the Feels Like Home beautiful stamp set. This is part of the Creative Inking Blog Hop and we are celebrating celebration. This is one of those free sets you can get with your $50 order. So we're going to go over what's available and I'm going to show you a super easy and pretty card in multiple colors that you can make with this gorgeous scenery stamp set. Let's flip the camera around to get started. This pretty little stamp set has seven different images in it. It is a red rubber stamp set and that allows us to get all the detail into these very detailed images. I love the fonts that are in the sentiments. And we have some sentiments in here that we don't see too often in other stamp sets. And I really love that. The missing you is something that I like to use a lot to pop cards to friends that I haven't seen or heard from in a little while. So some gorgeous, gorgeous sentiments, gorgeous images. This particular stamp set is free with your $50 order. And during celebration, which lasts until the end of September, you can get any of the items, items in here for free. So if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Please pop me an email. My email address is right here on the screen. And ask for the new catalogs. We've got so many beautiful things in here, and I'm so excited to be featuring Celebration for this entire blog hop. So don't forget at the end of the video, you're gonna wanna click a link that's gonna be in the upper right corner to take you to my blog where you will see photos of my projects with dimensions, a complete shopping list where you can click on an item and go right to my store and see the details, purchase it if you'd like. But um, I love that we are featuring all of these celebration items. We've got the Bedazzling 6x6 six six Designer Series paper. I actually happen to have this right here. I've been using it all day. It is so, so pretty. Again, free with a $50 order. Here is our beautiful Penguin Playmates 12x12 12 12 paper and some gorgeous samples. We've got the Feels Like Home, which I discussed. We've got some beautifully penned black and white designer series paper in 12 by 12. The Peaceful Prince Christmas paper in 12 by 12. The Counting Sheep stamp set, this is adorable. And some beautiful samples along with the sheep die, dies, a whole set of dies. Both of these are with a $50 order are free. Then we've got this textures and frame stamp set, and you can see some really cool things that they've done with it here. And now we have some dies. There are 11 dies in this Summer Shadows set. This is free with a $100 order. We've also got the Delicate Dahlias free with a $100 order. Some beautiful samples here. And it talks all about hosting a party. If your order goes over $150, you're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. Once your order hits $300, you are going to get this in your words stamp set with 10 different sentiments absolutely free with your order. So very, very cool. Another thing I'd like to talk about is joining my team. You can get all of your future orders at a discount once you join as a discount shopper. And here is a list of 12 different bundles you can get absolutely free. You choose which one you want to go with your kit. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I'd love to send these to you in the mail. So we're gonna get started on our project here. Now, I had mentioned that I've got several different colors I'm gonna share with you today. I'm just gonna get out all my cardstock layers. My card is gonna be completely white, which is very unusual for me, but I love this clean and crisp look. And I wanted to show you something very simple with this stamp set. So I've got a card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. This is our basic white thick. I've already scored it at four and a quarter. So we are going to fold this and then I'm gonna give it a good crease with my bone folder. 
Next, we have a piece of four by five and a half, I'm sorry, four by five and a quarter inch basic white cardstock. Another piece that is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then this tiny little piece is three eighths by three and a quarter. I am going to be using Memento ink today. And one thing I found with this particular stamp is that it is super detailed. So I wanted to bring in my Stamparatus so that I can get a good image stamped on my small layer here. So I've already added my stamp to the plate and my Stamparatus. And one thing I like to do is I like to take a stamp set and set it under my cover so that I have a flat surface to ink up my stamp with. So I know that I need to place my layer of cardstock right in here at this position because I've already figured out where that needs to go. So I'm just going to bring my magnets in. Oops, hang on. I'm gonna bring my magnets in and I have to keep them off the paper so that my image will fit in here. But I'm just gonna test it out, see what it looks like here. It looks pretty good. And then we're gonna ink the stamp up. I'm using Memento ink because I'm gonna be using stamp and blend markers. And this is the ink that is rec recommended with those markers. So once I have that inked up, I am going to give that some really good pressure. And then you can see it's a little bit lighter in here. And this is the reason why I wanted to use the Stamparatus because I can stamp it again and get it a little bit darker without having to start over. And look at how nice that looks. Everything is real nice and dark and crisp. So now that we're done with that, you wanna be careful with your magnets. By the way, this, this item comes with two plates like this. It is $49 and it comes with two magnets. You wanna keep your magnets away from each other. If they smack together, they will break then you have more magnets, right? Because now you have more pieces. That's where I look at it because I have broken both of mine, but they still work just fine. If you be careful with them, you won't have any issues with that. Um, I'm gonna get my chamois out here and clean up my stamp. I just like to wipe it off so it's nice and clean. This, by the way, is our chamois. It's for cleaning your stamps. I put it in a clear case and I love the chamois. It's like one of the nicest stamp cleaners that is on the market. Okay, we're gonna take this layer and I'm going to bring in my Coastal Cabana. This is the, or I'm sorry, this is Pool Party. And this is the Dark Pool Party Stamp and Blend. And I'm gonna bring that in here. I'm gonna color in my door. And of course, um, you can color in the whole image, but I am just going to highlight or spotlight my door with the color. And this makes it quick and easy for some quick and easy cards that I can send out to my friends. And I'm not doing anything fancy here. I'm just coloring. Stampin' Up! has given us all this detail to make it super easy and you don't have to do a lot of shading or anything else like that. Look at how fun that is, just that door. That's all I'm going to color. Okay, we are going to add some dimensionals to the back of this layer. And I'm just gonna set that aside for now. Now we've got this tiny, tiny little layer. This is 3 8 inch wide by three and a quarter long. And I'm going to use this long sentiment that says, can't thank you enough. Again, with the Memento ink. Perfect, whoo. Pressure was really on there. Okay, and as long as we still have that open, I'm gonna go on the inside of my card base and I'm gonna stamp this really pretty little pot of flowers. 
again with the Memento ink. Look at all the detail. So pretty, right? With that same pool party marker, I'm just going to color in the pot. I wasn't sure if I wanted to color in the pot or if I wanted to color in the flowers, but I think the pot just looks neat. It's very classic, very simple. Okay, we're gonna take this little sentiment layer and I've got my mini dimensionals here and I'm just going to add those to this layer. Now, this layer is our four by five and a quarter inch layer. We have a brand new embossing folder called the Timber 3D Embossing Folder. And this puts a beautiful wood grain on your cardstock. So I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. I'll be right back. Okay, and here is our embossed layer. And isn't that just gorgeous? It's very subtle but that's exactly what I'm going for with this set of cards. So I'm gonna add my liquid glue to the back of my layer. I like liquid glue, it gives you a little bit of wiggle time. If you don't get your layer on straight, you can move it around a little bit before it dries. And it's inexpensive and my cards don't fall apart. I love that. Okay, here comes our door. This is a take your pick tool. It has a whole bunch of functions, but the one that I use the most is this one and then the end with the putty in it. And I'll show you that in just a second. I'm going to add this to the center of my beautiful embossed layer. I think that I chose this 3D um, timber embossing folder because the door has a wood grain to it and I thought that would just look neat all together. Here comes that little sentiment strip going to just add this. I'm going to center this right down here near the bottom in the middle just like this and then I thought the black matte dots would be a great embellishment for this particular card with the black and white and a little pop of color. So this is the putty end of the take your pick tool and it hangs on to these little embellishments and makes it so easy to add them to your cards. You get um, 160 dots in this black matte dot embellishment pack. So lots of dots to go around. Now all of this stuff is going to help you get up to the $50 so that you can get a free celebration set like the Feels Like Home. Okay. Here is our beautiful card. Don't forget to add a pack of basic white medium envelopes. I think these are $6.50. You get 40 envelopes in a pack. They are beautiful, very high quality uh, material for our envelopes. You'll love them. So here's our first card. And then I'm going to bring one in. Then I'm going to bring one in that was made with the light poppy parade on that door. So we've got the pool party, light poppy parade. Here comes the dark Highland Heather. How about a purple front door? These door colors really do remind me of tropical locations. And then this one is the light Bermuda Bay door. So pretty little selection of cards. This would make a great gift set. You could put envelopes with all of them, tie them up in a bow, make a little box or something for them. Give these away as a gift. I can't thank you enough. And each one of them has the little pot on the inside colored to match the front color of the door. So I think these are really charming. And again, this is a stamp set you could color in all of these elements or you can just color one and um, make quick and easy cards. All right, you guys, you are gonna wanna click right up here in this top right corner. That's gonna take you to my blog where you're gonna find these cards there. And scroll down a little bit until you see a next button with a jumping bunny. 
and that will take you on to the next blog so that you can continue celebrating celebration. Remember, celebration is available until the end of September. You, there's no limitations on how many items you can get out of here, and you can get multiples. So if you want, for example, more than one pack of this beautiful um, black and white designer series paper, you can get two packs if your order is $100. You can get three packs if your order is $150 and so on. So there's no limit to the free stuff that you can get before the end of September. Thank you so much for joining me today and taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I will be live on my Facebook page, A Stamp Above Dash Your Creative Coach at 7 p.m. Central Time Sunday night. Always on Sunday nights, we have a whole bunch of fun with a live stamping class you get to participate in. I hope you'll consider joining me. Bye-bye.